What a gift to finally get to know ourselves completely. What a gift to finally be so natural and so open-hearted, completely ourselves in every moment. No longer needing to contrive anything or hold on to anything to find well-being, but simply relaxing as we are in our perfect nature. Open intelligence. That simple power to know. And resting deeply in that. Allowing ourselves to be completely human. And connecting with everyone in every moment. By allowing every <coughs> single datum to be exactly as it is. Every thought, emotion, sensation and experience. <coughs> seeing that it's, it is completely inseparable from open intelligence, like the color blue and sky, completely inseparable, no matter what comes up, is this expression of open intelligence, the shining forth of this treasure that we are, that everything is. It is also wonderful to just become so comfortable with whatever comes up, even anger. Because for me, when anger came up, oh goodness, I tried everything <laughs> to not feel it, to avoid it, to pretend that I wasn't an angry person. No, I don't get angry. No, no, no. That's, that if, I, if I feel that, that means I'm, I'm not a good person. So I tried really hard to not feel that and to just pretend that I'm happy-go-lucky and uh, you know, anything can just, yeah, just carry on. But at the same time, I was feeling extreme frustration and trying to bottle that in. So now to let it rip <laughs> and see that all is well, even in feeling that intense anger, in feeling all the sensations and the emotions and just that surge of energy, that fire, that beneficial fire. Allowing yourself to feel that and seeing that you have such a powerful choice in that very moment to either go with that anger, with that surge, and, and maybe act in a, in a non-beneficial way, maybe with our speech or our actions, or, or to really rest deeply, feeling it fully, and seeing that we can allow it to be exactly as it is, feeling that beneficial potency, that we can choose to rely on open intelligence right there. Recognize that that anger is that expression of open intelligence of our beneficial and powerful nature. And just seeing in that very moment what is of most benefit. How can I use my beneficial energy here to be of benefit to myself and, and, and everyone around me? Because we see in this day and age that, that anger and and jealousy and even loneliness, how it really, um, it seems to have such power over us and over others. And easily we act in non-beneficial ways. We see that playing out in the world because it's playing out in ourselves. So how powerful to be this example that we can allow anger to be exactly as it is and to use that power for the beneficial, for the benefit of all. Use that beneficial energy. Use that energy to serve and be of benefit to all. How incredible <laughs> that we don't have to be limited by these ideas that if anger comes up or even loneliness or rejection that it is wrong. 
to experience that. Everything that comes up is the shining forth of open intelligence, natural perfection, everything. Just as we see nature outside, natural perfection. It arises, it abides, and it naturally resolves again and again. So it's such a relief that even when loneliness comes up or rejection, just feeling that deeply for ourselves and for everyone, feeling it so deeply and seeing in that moment that there's total heart connection with every being, totally connected. Open intelligence rejects nothing. (laughs) We're always warmly embraced in every way. And so allowing that loneliness is just this gentleness and and warmth and compassion for ourselves and and everyone. It's so funny how we can feel loneliness (coughs) amongst 130 people. (laughs) So simply to allow to be exactly as it is. You know, we have the incredible support of the four mainstays. Taking short moments whenever we naturally remember to do so, which is simply to rest body and mind and not describe. And we can do that again and again and again. Short moments are incredibly powerful. Beyond trying to understand them or work them out, simply rest in your beneficial power. What a huge contribution you're making to yourself and to to the world at large, each short moment, taking that full responsibility again and again, and being supported by coming to open meetings, clarity calls, all the media, listening to the, the, the incredible richness that we are being confirmed of our natural perfection. I mean, when I listen to talks, they're just always so new and fresh and amazing and completely exalting. And then writing to, to our trainer. You know, when something feels a bit sticky, write to your trainer, normalize everything. Someone who's there to completely empower you only sees you as open intelligence and wants you to be the very best that you can be, wants you to shine, wants you to really explore all your strengths, gifts and talents, all your unique and beautiful, exotic and creative qualities and activities, that you have so much to contribute, going beyond all limits and conventional belief systems and all these ideas we have, just going beyond all these limits Exceeding all expectations. I mean, how incredible. And then working together with the community. Community here at the center or community wherever we are. Could be at home with our family or at work, wherever we are. And allowing everyone to contribute. Even those maybe that haven't recognized open intelligence as their true identity. Allowing everyone to, commu- to, to, to contribute and share their gifts. Inspiring one another. Allowing everyone to be exactly as they are. I mean, that's so delightful and joyful that everyone has that opportunity to express themselves. Not feeling judged or criticized and not feeling um, like they, they, they shouldn't be contributing. Not good enough. Well, we all know that feeling, don't we? Not good enough. So we want, when we want to collaborate and, and um, work together, then, then just rest there and just see how you can work together, how you can share your creativity and how you can inspire one another, sharing your knowledge and sharing your passion and 
There's just so many ways. And with each person, it may be so different, but you, you'll know how. <laughs> it will become clear just in your own experience. It will unfold naturally. There's no formula. It's just in every circumstance, in every moment, we just see what is, what is needed. How can we be of benefit? How can we, how can we work together? How can we innovate and create? Everything for, for the benefit of all. Even that, that impulse to want to eat more and more and more. <laughs> Here that comes up a lot because it's so delicious and yummy. It's like, oh, I've got to have some more. I've got to have that taste again. <laughs> It's so good. <laughs> but then just, just rest there. You know, just rest with that feeling of wanting more and seeing that all is well. And even if you have a bit more, rest there too if you're feeling so full. Rest in every single moment and seeing that open intelligence is unaffected. And the more you just rest and gain confidence in open intelligence, you, the more you just see what is of most benefit here for myself. You know, just test it out. That's what I did. You know, just test it out. What is of most benefit? But it is so powerful to come back to that... Um, complete stability in every moment, no matter what is coming up, no matter our experience, that complete stability and well-being in every moment. That complete ease. And that's what I found just by being immersed in the four mainstays, really living the four mainstays lifestyle or love style, as, as we've heard. I love that. Complete love style, it is. <laughs> it's like we're completely subsumed and embraced and just this total love <laughs> for who we are, as we are. Just so natural, just such precious treasures. And living that lifestyle, be surrounded by everyone and just taking it, um, it's our responsibility how we want to live our life. It's our responsibility, how we want to commit to the Four Mainstays. No one can do it for us. It's our choice. It's our empowerment. So I've seen by taking that on in my, in my own life, I'm actually amazed <laughs> how at ease I feel and how comfortable I feel just by being myself. Like, so relaxed, it's amazing. Even if strong data come up, in the core of my being, I know all is well. And I know that I can choose to rely on open intelligence for complete empowerment, not only for myself, but for everyone, for the whole of human society. We really are making such a huge change in the world. You know, it may seem like we're just at the centre here and it's all hunky-dory and beautiful and harmonious here, but by training up in open intelligence and immersing ourselves in the four mainstays, we just take that wherever we go next. That complete open-hearted relating, respectful and filled with such gratitude in every moment. We just take that naturally with wherever we go. We share that with whoever, whoever we are with. And slowly inviting everyone to recognize their true nature, their natural perfection and power. <laughs> 